Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I, I, I get, we were talking about it earlier, I get these ads on my phone where it, uh, it'll say, hey, the government will pay for your solar. They, they, they showed me this solar proposal and it sounds almost too good to be true. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna pay anything. I'm just gonna save all this, this cash over 25 years. Like, is that, is that real or is like, well, what about, you know, when we see this stuff though about, well, it's zero out of pocket or it's zero down then. So how does it, how does it work? I mean, are you getting a loan? Are you having to go into debt? You know, how, how, does, it, how does it work then? Well, it also seems like there's a lot of conflicting information out there as well. And I know, I mean, you're in this space. So you, you've probably seen a lot of this, these advertisements as well, right? It's like, oh, free solar program or, you know, don't buy solar because the government's going to buy it for you. And I'm sure, you know, if you're a homeowner out there, you keep getting all bombarded with all this information. It's like, okay, what, what is solar really? Is this a scam? Is this it's all just a bunch of hype? Or is this something that, is there any real benefit at the end of the tunnel with this stuff? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I, I, I get, we were talking about it earlier, I get these ads on my phone where it, uh, it'll say, hey, the government will pay for your solar, zero dollar, free solar. And, and the truth is, Joe, it's just, that's not the case, right? The, at the end of the day, you are purchasing something. It is something going on your home. You are going to be paying money for it. Um, if you kind of, the gray area, I guess, of what these companies are trying to say is ultimately there is a federal tax credit and absolutely that can help pay for the, the solar. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen a free solar panel system. I don't know if you I have. never got a free one. Okay. I mean, I I like, mean, if they're giving them out. I'll take one, but I'm, <laughs> uh, sign me up too. Yeah. I would love that. Um, but yeah, so ultimately it is an investment. It is a purchase, but I would just be you know, you want to look at these things and use, use your judgment. Uh, if you see something that says free solar, I'm not personally going to click on that. If anything, that would be a red flag to me. I, I don't want to necessarily work with a company that's going to be advertising free solar because I already know that that's not true. Um, so those would be like a, a, a red flag moment where I wouldn't necessarily pick that company. I'd want to look at one that's, you know, reputable, has the time in business. Um, they have the NABCEP certification, which essentially is just the, you know, the higher certification in solar and renewables. It's beyond that of the master electrician. Um, so that's great to, to see. And then also customer service and customer satisfaction with the A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. Obviously, this construction, things happen, doesn't always go 100% according to plan on the job site. But um, at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the company is taking accountability, responsibility, and is, is you know, ultimately taking care of the customer. Sure, sure. Now, listen, I got to ask that because I, I know there's going to be people out there. And I actually talked to a lot of folks, too. They'll, they'll comment in on the videos and say, hey, look, somebody came up. They knocked on my door. They, they, they showed me this solar proposal. And it sounds almost too good to be true. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pay anything. I'm just going to save all this, this cash over 25 years. Like, is that, is that real? Or is like, it, it just, it, to me, it just doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. Or at least the way it's presented to a lot of folks. It doesn't make sense. So for somebody out there, maybe they they had a solar person knock on their door, yeah, uh, or they got a proposal or they got a quote online. What what do you what would you say to that person? What do they really need to know? What should they really be looking for to see is this actually a good deal for me personally? Yeah, first of all, it it definitely can be. You want to see a number of factors. Um, one that it's it's not just like a cookie cutter approach that they just. Um, you know, gave you some numbers on, on a piece of paper and said, this is your quote. You want to make sure that they're actually looking at your home, uh, your property, the shading impact on the roof, the different specs, sizing, everything like that. And then you want to make sure that they have an accurate, um, your accurate consumption of, of past electricity use. So essentially you want to be factoring that in so that they correctly size the system. And then looking at anything that could have a shading impact on the roof, the weather conditions, things like that. All of that kind of just factors in without getting too technical on it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to see that they have a personalized quote for you. Um, that would be number one. And then number two is that they're a reputable company. So look them up, do your research. Um, really, there, there are many great solar companies out there. Uh, it's really just at the end of the day, making sure that you trust who you're working with. You're going to be in the relationship, like I said, for 25 plus years. You want to make sure that you you have that trust factor and that you actually connect with the, the team that you partner with. Great. 
Okay. Okay. Um, I guess on that note, then related, you know, what, what are some common pitfalls or maybe red flags that, that homeowners should avoid if they're looking into the solar space? Yeah, so a couple of things. One, uh, you want to make sure that the installation team has, has a license to operate. That would be very important. And all that's, you know, all that information is readily available online. Um, and you can ask them, they'll give it to you if they're reputable and legit. Um, you also want to make sure that, um, you know, I would say a red flag or a pitfall would be if they're asking for a large deposit up front without any, um, you know, without the permitting process going on, the engineering, the actual ordering of materials happens after all of that. So if they're asking for, let's say, 50% up front, definitely a red flag. It should be around 10%. Or even, you know, in California, it's illegal to, to ask for more than $1,000. Yeah, 1000 bucks max yeah. down payment. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So those are red flags that I would, I would look for and then definitely run away from. Um, with regards to pricing, just kind of bringing that up, I also... And, and this is a little controversial, but I, I personally would shy away from the cheapest solar quote. Um, I know we all like to save money, but the cheapest is definitely not what I would be going for when it comes to solar. I don't know about other things in life, but definitely, you know, you get what you pay for, right? Uh, as the common saying, and definitely in solar, I've seen that 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, yeah. And I, I talk about this so often, I feel almost silly mentioning it again, but I guess it, it is one of the things we have to say again, because if, there, are, there are other solar companies out there that I think are putting out this message like, oh, <clears throat> all solar panels are the same. So you really mm. just want to, who's giving you the cheapest price per wattage of solar panels. But the reality is, it's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's amazing that the people that are so discerning in other areas in terms of, you know, being a, being a very uh, discerning consumer in solar, a lot of times they'll just focus right on the price yeah. where like you wouldn't buy your house on cheapest price. You know, you certainly wouldn't hire your doctor on cheapest price no. or your lawyer. You want to make sure, no, does this person actually have a track record of doing good work and do they do what they say they're going to do? And um, so I think it's one of those things where solar is definitely not one of those things where you want to shop on cheapest price. And, and probably touching on what you mentioned earlier about large deposits, like that's probably like the lethal combo is cheapest price, but they want half the cash up front right. before they've delivered anything or done any permits or anything. That is a, a runaway from them situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about, you know, when we see this stuff though about, well, it's zero out of pocket or zero down then. So how does it, how does it work? I mean, are you getting a loan? Are you having to go into debt? You know, how, how does it, how does it work then? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, it's kind of like if you're going to finance a car or, you know, get a mortgage, it's it's definitely a purchase. And there is a loan involved for sure. Or you can just pay for it outright. There's different options. Um, but essentially, if you want to do the zero down method, then that would be the financing option of getting the loan and then just paying a fixed rate every single month. Uh, so the benefit to that would be you, you're not paying for it all up front. And then also you have that fixed rate. So you're not subject to this, you know, monthly going up and up with the utility company where it's just this 100% loss because essentially you're renting the power from the utility company. Uh, but instead, this is more like a mortgage where you're building equity into the system, eventually owning it outright and owning your own power. Got it. Got it. So it's basically like buying a house, right? You're, you're, you're getting, a, getting a loan, but it, you're paying it off a little bit. And at least you're not paying the power company at the same time. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you purchased a home for a reason. You decided, look, I'm not going to rent anymore. I want to own my own home. I want to own my own property. It's the exact same thing with electricity. Instead of renting it from the utility company, now you're going to be owning your own means of producing your own electricity. Coming into solar from, from another industry, and you've, you've had success in other, other industries uh, in prior careers, but what, what were some of the misconceptions that maybe you had about the solar industry that your, your opinions change now being able to see it as, a, as an insider? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I mean, for me personally, there was really just so much I didn't know. Um, and, you know, I see little things and then I, I formed my own opinion, not really necessarily based on fact. Um, one thing for sure, I thought solar was extremely expensive. I thought it was a large out-of-pocket expense. And it was, you know, for more the, the wealthier clientele in the country as opposed to really for everyone. And that's, I think, been the most eye-opening thing was that was completely false, um, which I didn't know that at the time. And then I would say other things that I've learned along the way really um, 
it's just how empowering solar can be. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I, I talk to people, you know, every day about they're, they're just frustrated and fed up with the utility company and they'll, they'll get their bill every month and, and you never really know what it's going to be. It's like, it could be higher, it could be lower and you're kind of, you know, crossing your fingers that it's not going to be high. Um, and there's just no predictability with it. And the rates go up and up and up. And you, it's not like they really ever made a decision to say, okay, I moved into this home. So this is the utility provider that I want to go with. And I'm, I'm going to do my research online and kind of read their reviews and, and maybe get some quotes from other utility providers. You're, you're not given that opportunity at all. And really that that to me has been the biggest thing with solar is that it really opens the homeowner up to, to really taking back the power, uh, pun intended. Um, but basically it's like they are able to, to just kind of do their own research, have options, educate themselves and make the best decision for them and their family. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you're absolutely right. We, we've been kind of, kind of conditioned to just sort of take whatever we can get in terms of our power. Yeah. You know, and, and Americans, I mean, you know, traditionally, culturally, we, we like to have our choice. We like to have our freedoms. We're rebels. Yeah. But but at the end of the day, most Americans kind of just roll over and say, oh, OK, if you tell me that's my power company, I guess that's my power company. I'll, I'll pay it. You know, I'll pay it. Don't turn my lights off. Totally. And that's the sad thing. And that's that's like the trap that we've somehow uh, fallen into. And then, you know, we're just like got our blinders on and uh, or, or hear the misconceptions about solar, like, oh, it's expensive, oh, it's a scam, like those things that um, were fed all of these things by whatever we see on social media, marketing, uh, the news, things like that. And so we got our blinders like, oh, I'm stuck with my utility company. But really, it's like you can strip all that away and really just do the research for yourself, get the information and make the best informed decision. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's why I like it so much. But um, as you know, you know, there are some solar horror stories out there, too. That's true. And so it's not a matter of like all solar is the same. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think it's so important that people that are considering this, why is it so important that they choose the right installer? And, and how would you go about it if, let's say, one of your family members said, hey, I'm interested, you know, I'm interested in doing solar for my home. What advice would you give them as far as how to choose the right company to work with going through that process? Yeah, so unfortunately, the way things have been rolling out with solar, it being a, a newer industry, there are some, you know, cowboys in the wild, wild west of solar who yeah. are doing not such ethical practices. Um, I would not say that's the majority of people. Honestly, that's the minority. But unfortunately, that's the, the noisiest and, you know, what tends to be promoted and what we hear about. Um, but really what, what I would look at is a number of factors. One is really just time and business. Um, you want to see a long, long track record of, of business health, financial health, that the company has been there, has been able to weather recession, is really going to be there for the long haul. Um, ultimately, you want to make sure that they can service the, the warranties. You're going to be in a relationship with someone for 25 years, not someone, but a business for 25 years. And you want to make sure that they're going to be there when if there's a problem, you give them a call, they'll come and service it, um, anything like that. So I really, really put emphasis on the time of business and making sure that, you know, it's not just one of these fly by night companies. Um, as you know, Joe, over 90% of companies today, solar companies today have been in business for less than five years. So it's, it's pretty wild. It's definitely a newer, newer industry. There are plenty that have, um, you know, been in business before then, but everything opening up now is, uh, is just new. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed this interview and you want to watch the full-length version, be sure to visit the new Solar Surge podcast channel, where we're going to be talking to most of the top brands and top companies within the solar space to make sure that you have the most up-to-date industry information. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.